Are you concerned about fuel mileage? Did you know O2 sensors play a role in fuel mileage? But not all O2 sensors. If you need O2 sensors for your vehicle, make sure you click the link in the description, head over to 1AAuto.com. Most vehicles either have four or two O2 sensors, and only half of them are actually monitoring the engine that could affect fuel mileage. The ones in the rear are actually monitoring the catalytic converter and they're not gonna affect your fuel mileage. It's just monitoring whether the catalytic converter is doing its job properly. If you're wondering which O2 sensor is monitoring the cat versus the engine, the one behind the catalytic converter or further down the exhaust is the one monitoring the catalytic converter versus the one in front is monitoring the engine and affecting your fuel mileage. Just to give you a better visual, the engine is over here, exhaust gases come out, and this O2 sensor measures that, meters the exhaust gases there, and then it goes down the line through the catalytic converter. It's gonna burn up some of the wasted fuel and go through here and then be monitored by the back O2 sensor, and that's how that works. We've gotten that back O2 sensor out of the way. We know that it has nothing to do with fuel. Let's talk about the front one. For an engine to run, you need an air and fuel mixture. And to make it run efficiently for best horsepower and best fuel economy, you need the ratio to be 14.7 parts air and one part fuel represented right here. As the O2 sensor monitors that burned fuel and air mixture, if there's not enough fuel, it's gonna see that there's extra oxygen. It's gonna tell the computer, now it's time to add more fuel. The computer is going to add more fuel. Then the O2 sensor is going to notice that there's too much fuel and it tells the computer to put less fuel. So it goes back to 14.7 to one or as close as possible. That's the job of the O2 sensor to constantly monitor how much fuel is being burned and to adjust accordingly. Here we can monitor on a graph what the O2 sensors are actually doing. You can see the values going up and down and every time those values are going up and down the computer is compensating trying to get the best air fuel mixture. Some of the symptoms you may have with a faulty O2 sensor is the check engine light comes on with an O2 sensor related code. You just need to determine which O2 sensor is the issue. Now if you have a O2 sensor that's a little bit lazy or just off the skew a little bit they may trick the computer and it's not giving the correct signal to the computer, which is gonna affect your fuel economy and your horsepower. When replacing an O2 sensor, you're gonna need an O2 sensor socket, similar to this. It just has a slice down the middle or even one like this. It's more of a crow's foot style or even just a 7 8 wrench or even a 22 millimeter wrench. Luckily, O2 sensors are all the same size. For most vehicles, O2 sensors are pretty easy to replace. Not much harder than changing oil. Disconnect the connector. And then down below is where the O2 sensor is. Put the O2 sensor socket over the O2 sensor. Loosen it up. Once it breaks free, normally you can do it by hand. You just twist it out. Now an O2 sensor may look perfectly fine. There may not visually be anything wrong with it, but it's still faulty. Or you could have the opposite. You could have a O2 sensor that has excessive carbon buildup on it, or even the cage of the O2 sensor is actually swollen. Um, in those instances, you'd want to replace it. If you see that the O2 sensor has like a white chalky buildup on the outside of it, it's a good indication that you have a head gasket problem or coolants getting into the intake and burning onto the O2 sensor. And installing the O2 sensor is pretty cut and dry. It's the same as removing it. You just want to torque it when you put it back in. Let's talk about some of the things that are going to compromise the O2 sensors. If you have oil or coolant, excessive amounts getting into the exhaust or going through the combustion chamber and getting onto the O2 sensor, that's not good for them. Also oil on the outside of the O2 sensor. If you have a valve cover that's leaking oil directly onto the O2 sensor, into the wiring and into this area, that's gonna compromise it. Another thing is silicone. Anytime you get any type of silicone spray or even the silicone lubricant, you don't want to put it on any of the seals that are going to be attached to the intake. 
any of those get into the intake, it's gonna go through the combustion chamber and ruin the O2 sensors. Another thing is people don't think of O2 sensors as maintenance items, but like spark plugs, over time they are gonna wear out and need to be changed. So any type of vehicle that has high mileage, they should be replaced. Not only O2 sensors can cause issues with fuel mileage, but also air filters, spark plugs, and even mass airflow sensors. If you need any of those parts, make sure you get those at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Home, James. <laughs> yes, sir. It's nice that they paved this road. Oh, they tore that house down. I didn't even